Hi, this screencast is going to bring you through basic enough capital allowances workings. So this is a question from Accounting Technicians Ireland, one of their exam papers in May 2014. And it's a corporation tax question. And you're just asked to calculate the corporation tax for the company for the year end 30th of June 2013 and it's 10 marks so it's not going to be a big question for 10 marks we're just going to do the capital allowances and all the details we need for capital allowances are what's the year end of the company first of all we're doing the year end 30th of June 2013 that's important uh, because we'll be using that for calculating tax written down values and then this here note one plant and machinery so plant and machinery is nice because there's no issues with the qualifying cost as, as for motor vehicles or passenger motor vehicles. So most questions when you're doing capital allowances, it's just picking the the cost. Your capital allowances are eight percent of the figure or twelve and a half percent or one eighth. So the qualifying costs of opening assets plus additions minus disposals and then your capital allowances are usually one eighth of this figure. The only time they aren't is sometimes the additions uh, need to be adjusted for a balance and charge. But if we look at that, we, will, we won't see these two questions. So we come here and we say, read this. On the start of the year, the tax written down value is 75. Okay, we don't care so much about that. The the plan machine is all purchased new, so that's the original cost. If the so that's what the qualifying cost was for plant and machinery. The only time that might change for plant and machinery was if there was a grant received, you'd use the net amount, net of the grant, and you always use exclusive of VAT, assuming the company can reclaim a VAT credit. If the company was exempt, the qualifying cost would be the VAT inclusive cost of the assets. Then qualifying cost of additions. The only transaction was the sale, so there were no additions. So you ignore the tax written down value. The only time the tax written down value is relevant is if there's any danger the assets would be fully written off. But they were purchased in 2010. We're doing for the year end June 13, so they're only there for three years. So we have no issue, four years, we have no issue with them being written off. And then the disposal of a van. So 20,000 van and emissions. We don't care about the emissions because it's not a passenger motor vehicle. It's only the passenger motor vehicles where the cost is restricted based on the emissions. So it was purchased for 35,000 in May 2010. So passenger motor vehicles for tax year 2018 are restricted based on emissions and the lower emission cars get the bigger capital allowances based on cost of 24 and then the higher up you go the bigger the car you get lesser capital allowances but that's just for passenger vehicles and as we're a van we're not a passenger vehicle so we get it on the full 35,000 so it cost originally 35,000 and that's including the 120 opening cost so that's gone now And there were no additions, no replacements. So 85,000 and capital allowances of one eighth, 10,625. 2018 capital allowances are that. So if you dispose of an asset, you always have a separate working to do, and it's fairly straightforward. The proceeds less the tax written down value. So the van was sold for 20,000, there are proceeds. And we have to work out the tax written down value. So the proceeds was 20,000 purchased in March 13. The year end is June 13. So 
so we owned it in May 10, so we owned it for the year ended June 2010. So those capital allowances claimed in June 10, 11 and 12. And then you get none in the year of, of sale. So three years capital allowances claimed, which means three eighths gone and five eighths left. So the year end is we're doing the year end June 2013. The van was purchased in May 2010. And the rule is you claim capital allowance as a full, assuming it's for a, the account period is for a year, you get a full year's capital allowances in the year purchase and none in the year sale. So we own the van for the year end of June 2010. It was there for 2011 and year in 2012. So that's three years. It was sold then in June 2013. So we don't claim any then. So that's three years claimed. So three eighths gone. Five is left. So that's the the simple enough working for to work out the tax written down value. So three eighths claimed, which means five eighths is left, and the, the what's left then is going to be five eighths of the original cost, which was thirty five thousand. So it is worth. was worth 21875 which was sold for less so really the way the revenue look at this and they say is that you we should have given you we should it should have been written down by another 1875 to, to make it agree to the proceeds so we get an additional balancing allowance or capital allowance of 1875 so Twelve thousand five hundred are the total capital allowances for two thousand eighteen. So sorry, thirteen because we're doing thirteen instead of eighteen. So we'll quickly look at another question, and I think this is one of the CPA questions. And once again, we're just looking at capital allowances. It's a corporation tax question. And corporate calculate compute the corporation tax liability for the year end of December 17. And to do that, you have to calculate the capital allowances. Here's the detail on plant and machinery. It gives us the cost and the tax written down value. And there was additions and there was a disposal. So we have three things in this. And then there's no two as well, which we look at. So there are no What's no two? So machinery. And it gives the netbook value and the tax written. So it even calculates the tax written down value first, which is nice. And it has it here as well. Okay, so quickly we'll do this. The original qualifying cost, and it's easier when it's machinery, plant and machinery. There's no restrictions as there would be on passenger motor vehicles. So we ignore the tax written down value. There's the cost. The additions purchase new machinery cost 64. All in use at your end. And our disposal is here then. And it's the original cost of the disposal that you use, not the tax written down value or anything else. There's no two. And it's just saying there's the proceeds, accounting, netbook value, and the tax written down value. So that's the cost of the disposal we use for here, which was 40. So 336 and capital allowances are only at 42,000. And then for this disposal, we have to do this working to see if the balancing allowance or charge. And it tells us here the tax written down value, which is nice. And it tells it up here again. So the proceeds are 10. Don't care about net book value. That's an accounting thing. Tax written down value 30. So it was sold for less than what it was worth. So revenue will look at that and say, we should have given you 
an additional 20,000 allowances because the allowance didn't reflect the drop in value of the asset. So your total deduction for the year is the... Now this is 2017 we're working on, sorry. The capital allowances, which is one-eighth of this, 42. And then the balancing allowance, 20. So the total deduction from profits is 62,000. And that's like a lot of questions are going to be like that.